Hi again, David from Parazero here. Uh, it's time for us to install our Safe Air Phantom onto our Phantom drone. First thing to do as we discussed, make sure you go to the website. There you'll be able to download the desktop app, see the installation manual and, and all the videos. In addition, using the USB-C cable, make sure you update the software of your device and make sure you charge it for at least one hour before you use it the first time. I'll put, put these to the side. The safety insert, which is used for repacking, is not relevant right now. Put that to the side as well. So now we're going to install our Safe Air Phantom. First thing to do is to open your placement tool. The placement tool is used to make sure that we put the placement stamp in the correct place on top of our drone. There's only one correct way to put it on top, so make sure that you pay attention to the symbols. Battery side goes on top of the battery. I'm gonna remove the propellers, one at a time. Okay, now it's time for me to take the placement stamp and put it directly on top of the drone. Again, battery side on top of the battery. The black dots you see, correspond with the black dots on the propellers. So again, make sure you put everything in the correct place. As we said, there's only one correct way to do it. Now that I have the pieces on top of the four propellers, I'm gonna grab my placement stamp. I have two. Right now I'm only gonna use one. I'm gonna put the other one to the side. I'm gonna take off the back of the placement stamp, exposing the adhesive. Now I'm gonna take the placement stamp and put it directly on top of my placement tool, like so, making sure that it's in the correct spot. I'm gonna push down firmly and make sure it's in place. Now it's time for me to take off the placement tool. One propeller at a time. And the important thing is to keep this. You may need it later, put it to the side, fold it, like so. Okay. Now it's time for us to put the Safe Air Phantom on top of the drone. Important points here to pay attention to is to remove the safety catch. This should be kept in place when you're not using the system or when you're storing it. I'm gonna put it to the side for now. Another important point is to make sure that the system is off. Now I'm gonna unwrap the cord, like so, and wrap it around the legs of the Phantom. Now pay attention to the arrow right here. This arrow points to the front of the drone, like so. I'm gonna lay it down, making sure that my hook is out like this, so that does not affect my placement. I'm gonna lift up the drone and put the string around the legs. lift up the string. The important thing when you lift this up is to make sure that you're not blocking any of the sensors. You can see here, make sure it's above the sensors. Okay. And again, there's only one correct way to put it. Simply sit it on top. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure that the ratchet is around the side underneath the battery. And I'm going to lift up this string and put it under the hook, like so. Now, for the ratchet, you'll see that there's an arrow that'll tell you to move it clockwise. Keep twisting until you feel that the string is taut. Make sure that the strings are on opposite sides. And once you feel it's tight enough, lift up the drone by the system, making sure it feels like one complete unit. Now I'm gonna put the propellers back on. Uh, when you do the correct installation, you'll see that the propellers can move freely and are not at all obstructed by the Safe Air Phantom. And this is important to check after you do the installation and make sure that you've done it correctly. Just spin each one, making sure that there's no issues and confirm that you did the correct installation. Now put this last one on. 
And as you can see, when it's put on correctly, it works perfect.